Is the universe infinite? What you are seeing is the celestial sphere being rotated and laid flat. Imagine holding a basketball and slowly rotating it towards you. The stars are displayed down to brightness magnitude 11. Within this Rorschach test, a cloud galaxy appears on the left and a spiral galaxy appears on the right. The stars shown are squashed together onto the celestial sphere to produce these shapes. In reality, these stars can be half a known universe apart. An entire dimension has been ignored. Flat map displays only represent angular location and not the distance between these bodies. Changing the distance to magnitude 7, stars visible to the naked eye under perfect conditions, shows the flaw of basing theories on compressed space. Artistic impression of galaxies consumed planetarium displays and became reality. We have lost a generation to this fictitious artwork, which the data does not support. Examining the stars in rotation helps identify their cloud structure. You are seeing a 20 parsec cylinder of stars rotating about our sun, identified by the yellow dot in the center. This is roughly a 65 light year control volume with a cutting plane slicing through the cylinder and remaining parallel to the view. Stars in close proximity to the cutting plane are increased in size, and their color turns bright white as they pass through. This helps us see the structure and unique characteristics of our place in the universe. Increasing the control volume to roughly 133 light years shows the continued expansion of conical star concentrations voids and sparse regions all pointing to our sun. It looks like we are centered in the eye of a star hurricane. There is a toroidal structure of stars surrounding the sun which cannot be explained by currently accepted theories entrenched in an infinite universe model with a big bang. All these observed properties are predicted by a finite universe model described using fluidic circular dimensions instead of the rigid linears we learned in school. That model of higher dimensional circular space is explained graphically through more video clips located in the FCD section on ostracheyes.com. Zooming in to roughly 33 light years, we can examine more closely the void surrounding our sun. If we are just one of billions, then why does no other star enjoy these neighborhood characteristics? Why are we special? Could it be all these stars are just the cyclical images of a single sun? Just like Christopher Columbus sailed around the world, we can sail around the universe. The next animation deals with the voids in space, specifically the sparse environment surrounding our sun. Each colored bubble surrounds a single star and represents the closest nine star average distance. Only bubbles greater than one and a half times the average are displayed. Thus, dark areas contain higher concentrations of stars that are not shown. The sun's bubble is over three times the average. Redefining the bubbles to represent nearest neighbor distances and using a larger control volume, the absence of the denser toroidal structure can be seen as a dark region. Perpendicular to that structure, star population is increasing twice as fast as the available property defined by greater distance from the Sun. We'd expect bubble sizes to increase with the growing control volume, but these cyclical images, the stars, are increasing at a faster rate which maintains the bubble sizes. The display is changed to include the abnormally large bubble surrounding our Sun in comparison to star bubbles less than half the average. This illuminates the toroidal structure orbiting the Sun, a feature no other star enjoys. The data shows our Sun is unique and at the center of the known universe. It supports a closed universe theory in which light travels full circle, the consequence of which can be seen as the stars. Multiple star systems and other anomalies show the evolutionary history of our sun and solar system. Instead of proximity, imagine the stars as temporal views of our sun. 
we have lost ourselves in static theories based on creative artwork. Put things in motion. Dynamic examination of the heavens reveals the universe is finite.